Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today and the next four days, I'm gonna be doing a lot of trucking. Um, and today I'm headed to Southern Indiana to deliver that John Deere 2030 that I sold on auction time. Um, go down there, I was supposed to be picking up a Massey 1155, another one, um, but they're busy in the fields and ain't got time to get it drug out of the barn. So the guy that I'm delivering the 2032 said he had a couple of tractors. So hopefully I come back loaded um, and not come back home empty because that sucks. Um, but yeah, I'm headed down to Southern Indiana today, about three hour drive down there um, to deliver the tractor. And then I'm gonna come straight back home and uh, hopefully come back with something um, instead of coming back empty. And then tomorrow's Sunday and I got trucking to do tomorrow, sadly, um, after church. And then Monday and Tuesday, yeah, I got a lot of, a lot of trucking to do. Um, but before we get any farther into the video, I need to read a Bible verse over you guys. And today it's coming out of, out of Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. And it says, I can do all, th all things through him who strengthens me. Um, so, yeah. Today I'm headed to southern Indiana, as I just said. I've um, got my truck and trailer all ready to go. Well, I washed it, kind of. But for some reason, there's still crap all over it. Um... And I'd wash my trailer as well. First time I washed my trailer since I got it. And I went ahead and coated the deck on it. So it looks pretty sweet. Um, so it's all ready to go. Uh, but before I do any trucking, I like to pop my hood and check my oil and my coolant. Make sure I am ready to go for the day. So the only sucky part about this truck is it's so far in here that it's hard to reach probably should clean underneath here but that's another day project and we got oil so that's good so let's stick it back in the hole and go from there and then we got coolant so that's good too looks like my battery's corroding a little bit oh well but yeah 2030s over there i was kind enough to uh the front tire lost there for some reason after the auction closed. Um, so I was kind enough to take the tire to the tire shop and get the guy a brand new tube. Um, so the front tire is brand new tube in it, even though the front tire is junk. But, um, so I guess I'll set you guys on tripod and get this 2030 loaded up and then hit the road. All chained down, loaded, ready to go. Time to hit the road south. yesterday got the uh, 2030 delivered and looked at all the other stuff the guy had and uh, didn't bring any of it back home with me I probably should have um, but I might go back down and get it um, just depends but then you guys seen in a time lapse that I got the 7080 and all the parts loaded up um, and right now I'm on the interstate headed toward Illinois to uh, deliver it to the guy I went to church this morning. Really don't like working on Sundays, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, Cause yeah, this is like the only time I had free to get this tractor to this guy. And I'm sure he's needing some of the parts that I'm bringing to him as well. So um, I figure I better get this done just so he has all the parts he needs and then uh, can get started working on this tractor whenever he gets around to it but I seem to pick the uh, windiest days to haul cab tractors um, for some reason 
It was 82 yesterday, and today it's 45 with, I don't know how crazy the winds are, but it's a nasty one today. It's been sprinkling and raining off and on all morning, so it's a good day to be sitting in the truck because if I was home, I would just be relaxing, so get another thing accomplished today and be ready for the beginning of the week here tomorrow and do a little bit more trucking, so... I'm going to keep on venturing on, um, hopefully get this tractor the, to the guy and unload it and um, make it back home safe and sound. And I'll be coming home empty against the wind, so it should be a pretty uh, calm ride home, so I just got to get the tractor to the guy, so yeah, I guess I'll pick you guys up whenever, it might be tomorrow, unless something fun happens and I'll pick you guys up today, but probably be tomorrow when I'm back on the road. And just like that, we're back in the truck. Um, I got the 7080 delivered yesterday, um, which was Sunday. Uh, but I got all the parts and the 7080 to them, all unloaded, made it back home. Um, and then, yeah, went to bed and got prepared for today. Um, I headed up north to New Paris, Indiana. And I'm sure this auction yard looks familiar to some of you guys or most of you guys, um, Polk Auction in New Paris, Indiana. I picked up a tiny little tractor that you could fit in the bed of the truck. Um, so my 35 foot trailer is just a little tad big for it, uh, but I'm headed to Ohio now to pick up another tractor and some parts. Um, so that's about a three hour drive to get up here in New Paris was about two and a half hour drive. Um, but I figure I might as well head on to Ohio and pick the rest of my stuff up today just because it is as, it's cold as crap out. Um, it was like 80 all last week and now it's like 30. So I'm headed to Ohio now. Um, to pick up some more tractors and then head for home. It's gonna be a late night, so, cause three hours to get to Ohio and then load and then three hours back home. So I guess I'll pick guys up probably when I head, head home from Ohio after I get loaded up there. And well, bam, we're home. Uh, it was a long day yesterday. It's the following day now. Um, I made it home after I made it to Ohio and picked up another tractor. It was quite a long day yesterday. I was tired and uh, ready to be home. So it's all still on my trailer because um, I got home pretty late last night. But I made it to Ohio and uh, picked up this 190 gas here. Um, probably gonna become a parts tractor unless someone wants it complete. Uh, the owner said that they didn't look in it, into it too hard, but they think it won't get spark, so. That's why it wasn't firing. The doors would not stay shut yesterday on my way home and it was cold, so I didn't want to strap them down. And somehow I got lucky and the window from the top door fell in there. I thought it flew out on a highway, which would have sucked, but it flew in there. The latches were good on the doors, but every bump I hit, they somehow unlatched, but it made it home. So that's all that matters. Um, Overall, it seems to be a straight tractor for the most part. I mean, it's ugly looking, but two front slab weights on the front. Um, yeah, it's ugly looking tractor, but I mean, has potential, I guess. Um, if you want it complete, 3000 bucks and it's yours. I'm just going to push it out there for now because I don't really want to tear into this one yet. Um, but yeah, they said it spins over nice it just ain't getting sparks so if i find time i'll look into it and possibly try to get it running um and sell it the way it is but other than that i got other projects to work on and this one's at least in my worries right now so if you need parts off this tractor or want to buy it complete feel free to get in touch with me um tractor on the front of my trailer here we ain't gonna talk about it much but it's a d10 and uh yeah that's all you're gonna see for it for right now. There's gonna be more videos on it. Um, and then also in Ohio, I picked up two WD-45 diesel heads. That one's been gone through. 
this one looks like brand new needs valves and whatnot but yeah and then here's these fenders here um which all this stuff came from a guy in ohio that i bought out last year and those fenders i forgot to pick up um on my last trip so he threw them in because i forgot about them um but yeah he reached out to me on that 190 and then there was uh one more thing and my truck is locked imagine that um oh come on get my keys out of my pocket here and then in the cab here we got a nice injection pump off of wd-45 diesel and lines pump's been gone through um but the pump is not for sale that's for another project <laughs> um but yeah if you guys need a head um these are not cheap but they'll be on my ebay store probably when this video goes live maybe um so if you need a head in good shape Feel free to reach out to me if you need some d14 d15 fenders um reach out to me they have some weird platform thing welded to them but i think you could cut that off and make them some decent fenders but yeah other than that i guess i don't know what else to say guys in this video um i'll probably just unload all this crap off camera and uh, go from there and uh yeah sorry it's a boring one um but hopefully you guys enjoyed it all the trucking i've been doing the last few days um i probably should do a little bit more trucking but i'm wore out i'm tired of trucking um but yeah so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure to hit that like button for me and if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button i appreciate it and uh yeah i guess i'll catch you all next one thanks for watching